We know the First Amendment protects our freedom of speech. Commercial speech, however, is entitled to less protection, because the freedom of speech must be balanced against interests impacted by false and misleading commercial messaging. As a result, the classification of speech as either non-commercial or commercial can have massive implications in a litigated matter. The 2014 case of Michael Jordan v. Jewel Food Stores, Inc. examines one such case involving perhaps the world's most famous athlete. Chicago Bulls superstar Michael Jordan, known to many as the best basketball player of all time, was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 2009. To celebrate his achievements and career, Sports Illustrated created a commemorative issue entitled Jordan, Celebrating a Hall of Fame Career, for purchase in select locations. Before publication, Time Incorporated, the publisher for Sports Illustrated, reached out to Jewel Osco, a supermarket company with nearly 200 stores in and around Chicago. Time offered Jewel free advertising space in the special issue in exchange for stocking and selling it in its stores. Jewel agreed and designed a full-page ad with its trademark name and logo, along with a pair of basketball shoes that read, quote, a shoe-in after six NBA championships, scores of rewritten record books, and numerous buzzer beaters, Michael Jordan's elevation in the Basketball Hall of Fame was never in doubt. Jewel Osco salutes number 23 on his many accomplishments as we honor a fellow Chicagoan who was just around the corner for so many years, unquote. The ad appeared on the inside back cover of the magazine. After its release, Jordan sued Jewel for allegedly violating his right of publicity and other claims. Asserting that the ad constituted non-commercial speech protected by the First Amendment, Jewell moved for summary judgment. Contending that the ad constituted commercial speech and commercial use of his identity, Jordan also filed for summary judgment. Jordan conceded that if the ad was determined to be non-commercial speech, his claims would fail, and Jewell conceded the converse. Finding the ad to be non-commercial speech, the court found for Jewell, and Jordan appealed to the Seventh Circuit.